you know, they will have the plot that's sort of the family plot, and they'll come back whenever they need to and, and put in the next pet. Um, a lot of these that you'll see, there's four or five or six markers all kind of in the same place. That's because they bought at one time, you know, four or five plots. Um, one of the other things that's really interesting that bothers us a lot is that, especially with the cremations, you get a lot of you get a lot of this, the same family um, euthanizing pets within a very, very short period of time. Um, and it's usually pets that are a little bit older where, you know, Millie dies and it seems to the person that Chuck is now very lonely um, and so, you, you know, there's the euthanization. And it's odd and maybe that's not what it is, but it, it happens a little too frequently for maybe both of them to have been sick. Um, but like I said, it's older cats, so you never, older cats specifically, you never really know. Um, and no vet's going to put down an animal because it's lonely. But um, it happens that they kind of coincide like that, and that's very, very odd. Um, but again, people put a lot of, uh, you know, they personify the animals quite a bit. Um, which, I don't know, I mean, I do it with my cat, I know, but I like to think I'm not quite that, that far out there about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna cry like a baby though when he dies. <laughs> but anyway, oh one thing that's interesting for people who are it's a commercial for for people who are severely bonded um, we actually call it uniquely bonded with their pets. We do offer what's called a crematory viewing. So if you don't want to do a burial but you would like to be there when your pet's remains I'm sorry rather remains are placed into the crematorium you can be there to witness that. And you can also be there when they're taken out of the crematorium and processed as well. Um, and it only costs you an extra hundred dollars to do. Oh, anyway, yeah. Just, yo, know, tell your friends. <laughs>